Talking about it might feel uncomfortable, but going over your sexual history with an OBGYN is a necessary part of maintaining your reproductive health. A nurse will usually go through um, asking how many total lifetime partners you've had, how many current sexual partners you've had, um, your sexual preferences. We really go through a lot of history. It just depends on, on how detailed the patient wants to go about it, really. When providers say recent sexual partners? Typically, we're asking um, within the past year, I'd say, or another um, rule that you can use is how many sexual partners since your last STD screening. OBGYNs will ask something along the lines of, are you sexually active? A question that applies to all sexual acts. Whether that be penetrative or non-penetrative, and it's basically anything that can involve the exchange of bodily fluids, so whether that be oral sex, vaginal sex or anal sex. Asia says this helps assess your risk for sexually transmitted diseases and infections. Um, anyone who doesn't use any type of condoms during intercourse could use re risk reduction. Those who have multiple sexual partners, those who might be in, contacted, um, in contact with higher um, or more riskier diseases like HIV, um, IV drug users, um, those who might be, you know, they don't have secure housing, so they might be going from, you know, home to home and it's not really a safe environment. Supporting your sexual health goes beyond the exam room. During your annual wellness exam, you might be asked if everything's okay at home. We might ask a brief question about, do you feel safe at home? Um, do you have any history of sexual, verbal, physical abuse? If any of those questions prompt, um, you know, like a follow-up from the provider, we can go into more detail about that so that we can, you know, ensure that you do have a safe sexual, you know, um, experience, safe home environment. Healthcare providers are advocates, providing resources for outside support, offering information on ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy and the exchange of bodily fluids. Males are the most common types of condoms that people are more familiar with. They're just used externally um, over the penis. There are also female condoms that can be worn internally by the females. But practicing safe sex won't look the same for everyone. So that can mean different things for different people, whether that's abstaining from sex or not having sex at all, using condoms or a barrier method, um, open communication with your partner, with past partners. Arnett Health's OBGYNs are currently accepting patients. To make an appointment at the Health Center for Women, call 607-734-6544. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.